gives you advice, yeah, on how to live your life, how to live your life. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you guys are new I'm Cami. today's video is going to be a pregnancy update it's gonna be my 32 week update um now I have had a appointment actually I think two appointments since um my last video because I'm going every two weeks now but yeah, so there's a little bit of catching up for you guys, I guess. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and start with the fact that I got diagnosed with gestational diabetes. So pregnancy diabetes. Um, I failed my three-hour glucose test. And when I found out, I was really, really, really upset because even though it has something to do with your placenta, it still makes you feel really crappy about yourself. It makes you feel like there's something wrong um, or that you're doing something wrong. But I mean, even like the super healthiest people can get it. It's just, it really has to do with the placenta. Um, and yeah, so I cried and all of that. And the paperwork they gave me kind of freaked me out. Um just because it has a list of, you know, the things that can happen because of it. You're at a greater risk. Now it's like a high-risk pregnancy. And, um, you know, if your baby's too big, you have to get induced. And just a lot of things in the paperwork that made me feel very panicky very fast. Um, but I know a lot of people get diagnosed, and the paperwork made it seem like it not a lot of people did, but I joined like a Facebook group um, and you know, it's it's been helpful and all of that. For my personal um, OB's office, they want you to stay under 45 carbs per meal and 15 under 15 carbs per snack. Um, and I do have to take my blood sugar four times a day, so I have to prick my finger and do the little blood thing and write it down four times a day. I do it as soon as I wake up, which is your fasting number, basically eight to 10 hours of nothing but water or black coffee. I'm um, gonna take that and then you do it. Um, some people have you do it an hour after your meal, but my doctor wants two hours after a meal and my number is supposed to be 120 and below for two hours after a meal. So far, I've been doing pretty good. Um, I had to get one of those basically a calorie tracker because I couldn't find a good um, one for carbs because you have to be aware of your carbs now. So basically everything that I really enjoy, like honestly potatoes are my favorite food and something that I want to eat all the time in pregnancy and I can't do that now. Um, you know, you have to limit your mashed potatoes, your pizza, your breads, um, pastas, all that sort of thing. And it's crazy how many things have carbs in it and I've never been one to want to do the keto diet um so you kind of have to follow a keto diet but you're obviously allowed more carbs than what people on the keto eat um however in the last since being diagnosed I would da I was I think I was 30 weeks when I was diagnosed so I've been doing it or like about to be 30 weeks um because I think I took my three hour test at 29 weeks and I had been doing it for like a day um, at my 30 week appointment. So I feel like I've been doing it for like two and a half weeks almost now. Um, so in those I have lost three pounds, which didn't make me feel great. Um, but so far they haven't had a problem with it or anything. Um, but yeah, so instead of gaining weight, I have lost three pounds. <laughs> um, but I have an ultrasound at my next appointment um, to like get her measured and all of that in case, you know, she is bigger than what she's supposed to be because that's like a side effect, I guess, of the gestational diabetes. Um, so I'm excited to get that done because that is something that, you know, they're obviously concerned about. But because at my last appointment, my 32 week appointment, they said since my numbers were so good and then, you know, following my thing pretty good, um, that they're not concerned about her being too big. But again, it just kind of, you know, depends, um, on the person and all of that kind of stuff but I thought I was gonna have to go on insulin because my fasting numbers haven't been that great but so far it's been you know good enough um, and you have to make sure that you drink a lot of water 
So the only thing is I can't have like my cravings. Like if I want something sweet, I'm doing like sugar-free. So I can't, you know, go get a milkshake if I'm craving that. I can't eat, you know, fries or any of that. Um, there's not been really any other symptoms. I've just, you know, I've lost the three pounds. And um, I feel like I'm having a hard time staying full just because I have to find certain things to eat. Um, and then, so that kind of just kind of takes out the cravings thing. Like you can't really even think about it. Um, but I mean, I've had occasional headaches um, since, you know, starting it. But I have to make sure that I'm drinking you know, water, and I'm still doing my baby aspirin to keep my blood pressure down because that's another thing that can rise up with gestational diabetes. And I didn't have it with my first, but I had high blood pressure with my first. So yeah, um, she is moving like a lot. She loves to move. Baby girl loves to move at nighttime. That is when she goes crazy. Um, she just, I don't know, she loves moving at nighttime. I'm not sure about the position or anything. They haven't checked for any of that. I'm sure I'll find out when I get my ultrasound done. Um, but I've noticed, because I've done like comparison pictures now, and I'll insert a couple here um, um, between like Parker's pregnancy and then Ari's pregnancy. Um, like she's sitting so much higher than Parker was sitting, so my bump is just such a different shape. So it's like hard to compare what, you know, because they're just, they're so different. Um, but she definitely moves a lot more than Parker does. She's definitely a good little kicker. Uh, we have gotten her nursery ready. And I will be putting the stroller in the car seat into our car sometime this weekend. Um, we got our floors done. So pretty much everything is kind of falling into place now. We're just basically waiting on her and, you know, seeing how she's doing and all of that. Um, but, yeah, there's not really anything too crazy going on I will show you um, the little app part as of today I am 33 weeks but this is because um, I forgot to film it the other day but for 32 weeks she was supposed to be the size of a cantaloupe and weigh about three and a half to four pounds and be about 16 to 17 inches long so yeah, I'm really excited and I can't wait to meet her and um, Parker, I'm not really sure how he's doing. He just randomly will be like baby girl, or not baby girl, baby sister in mommy's belly and he's gone into her room a few times. Um, I'm trying to, you know, get things sorted out so like the baby swing, I have to let him know like, hey, you can't, you know, play with this. Like this is baby sister's, he knows like all the pink clothes are for baby sister. Um... And I think he's going to be a good big brother. And it makes me want to tear up. Like, oof. Just because I'm so excited for him to... I'm so excited for him to be a big brother. Um, but yeah, I mean, things are getting harder. Because I'm, I'm getting, like, slightly bigger. But just, I feel very, very uncomfortable. Like, I'm having Braxton, Braxton Hicks. I have a lot of lower pressure. I have to pee all of the time. Um, especially drinking so much water and then like um, again with the sleeping you know I have to have a pillow like in between me so that I can lay comfortably um, yeah it's just you know pregnancy gets harder and harder as you get up there um, things that like my husband can clean the house so fast but like if I go to clean the house it takes me like three hours to do and it takes him like maybe an hour so it's, it's just funny how little things like that like me just being you know pregnant makes me do things so much slower than him um so yeah that is pretty much going to be it for the pregnancy update and of course i will show you guys my bump and if you guys are new i hope that you will consider subscribing we're getting closer and closer to baby girl's due date i am due january 23rd if you are new so yeah i'm just going to go ahead and show you guys my bump now